Hey guys, welcome. Today we're having a look at this one, the Sortrex M200. It's a really popular printer. It's a semi-professional machine and it delivers great results with the prints. Uh, as you've probably seen, it's been out for a while. As you've probably seen, there's hundreds of great examples from this printer. Um, so I'm gonna go through it. We're gonna check it out. We're gonna unbox it first and um, I'll show you some tips and tricks and some prints with it. So. Um, Let's go for go for the ride. Well, yeah, as you guessed, it's a little bit too big to unbox on the table. So we'll just have to do it here. Uh, it's already been checked by Creative Tools here, the uh, Swiss uh, premium reseller. Ah, another box. It's one of those scenarios where you have a box in another box. Let's open that up. Nothing here. Nothing here. Aha, now we are getting to this stuff. So we have a quick start manual here. We also have this paper here which shows what's included. Great, the printer is included. We have the warranty terms sealed in a bag. That's, that's pretty neat. Cool. Oops. Under this, we have the machine itself. Wow, looks nice. So we have everything in here. We have the good packaging. We have some um, spool holder here. Seems to be 3D printed. Nice. We have the uh, EU cable. Um, in this case from this supplier and uh, I think that's about it we're gonna take the machine out of the container here voila let's put it on the table and uh, check out the rest of the box so I think that's all for this box. Do you have something underneath? No. Okay, let's move over to the table. Okay, so now we have it on the table. So we have the extruder here on top. Let's just remove some more packaging. So that protects the uh, build plate holder. What else do we have? We have something here protecting some cables. Yep, some cables over there. Let's see if we can get this out. Aha, I think I see a spool. It's well hidden down here. I think that's pretty cool. It's really nice, really nice strong packaging. So we have the filament guide tube. Put that there. Just get this out. And we have some ivory ultra T. Nice. Good material. And what else? Oh, we have these starter kits. Let's just remove this here. Nothing in that. So yeah, here we have the wires for the, I think it's for the heated build plate. Let's see, let's see some more packaging. I get rid of all of this. Like that. And let's just get this out. So I'm just gonna move the machine here to the side so we can see what's inside the starter kit. I'm just gonna put the filament down there. Interesting. Starter kit, wow, we have a build plate. Cool, coated with Z liquid. Nice, this, oh, it's a good feeling. That's a really good metal metallic parts feels awesome wow look at this really nice so we have cable clamps let's see um, yeah this is a totally separate unboxing itself this needs its own introduction um, so let's just put that to the side here I need all the space I can have and uh, let's just um, have a look at this box here. Okay, so let's do an unboxing inside of an unboxing. So this is the 
starter kits. Um, on top of uh, the things that you can see now, we also got, got the build plate here, which is really nice. The, the feel of this build plate is like taking a, a sheet of strong, really machined aluminum, and it's, it's really, really firm. It feels great. So let's see, we have a, a complete toolkit of uh, Allen keys or hex, hex keys. Um, really nice. We have, let's see, protective glasses. That's also really good. Uh, we have a tool here, Allen tool. We have a art knife, so we are able to fine tune your models. We also have a set of tweezers. Sorry, there we go, tweezers. We also have a, what do you even call this one? Uh, clipper, clipper tool. We have a USB memory. Actually, a card reader. Ah, interesting. So that's uh, SD card reader. You can see here, different types, micro SD, normal SD. It's really nice. What else do we have? We have a office knife as well, normal one, really good. We have some filament holders, interesting, looks like that. And some cable clamps, like this one, nice. And what else do we have? We have a um, tool, sorry, my English is bad today, that happens. Um, let's see here, what is this? This is a drill bit or a piano wire. I'm not sure if it's a drill. I think it's piano wire, 0.4 millimeters for your nozzle cleaning, and also one 0.35 millimeter. So you can start off with this one, and then you have the four, uh, 0.4 millimeters. That's actually great. I'm gonna let them be inside there. And you have, I think this is grease for the, the axles. This, this kit is awesome. And of course you have some gloves, which is really, really nice. Especially when you're removing all the tools and, and so on. Really nice job, guys. So now with this unboxing and the starter kit unboxing done, I think it's time to get started with the machine itself. So let's have an overview of the machine. On the front side we have a few attachment screws but we have the menu and you can see here there's a turning knob that you can turn and push and you have the SD card slots. On the left and right side of machines you mostly have ventilation but on the machines right side you actually have the on off button and the power supply. On the back side there's not really much information there's the serial numbers and there's the wire and you have a spool holder in the center. On the top you have the connector for the wires for the, um, the one cable going in and you also have the feeding mechanism. So as you can see this the whole grand gantry looks a little bit like uh, the one in the Ultimakers, but it's a really strong and, and stable one. With uh, uh, You also have these heater block, um, really nice one, strong heaters. You also have a cooling fan for some of the materials. Um, first of all, before in doing anything else, we need to remove a few um, shipping containers, uh, a few things. For example, the cables here needs to go into the machine later. And these two clips and these here, uh, all these rods needs to be removed. Voy a cantar esta canción con mucho cariño de mi corazón a la República Dominicana, la casa del merengue y la casa de la bachata. Voy a cantar esta canción con mucho cariño de mi Corazón a la República Dominicana, la casa del merengue, la casa de la bachata. La, 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 la casa del merengue. La, 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 y la casa de la bachata. Okay, so for software, I don't want to waste your time by going through all the features in Z-Suite. I think there's really good help and support just to show off that. So just download your license from uh, sortax.com. You have to just type in your serial number. Um, so you can, yeah, you can see here you use it for Mac and then you can even try demo if you want to see the features within. After that, you just download the latest version 
I'm running 1.5.0, choose your machine, and then you go. Um, so in my case, I have uh, this joystick here that I want to print. I've just sliced it with some standard settings. I'm going to go through here the viewport in the machine. What's pretty cool here is that um, it, it does a really good rough and support material. I know it's a little bit of waste material, but it's uh, actually uh, recommended to do this. And as you can see from some models later, the, the contact between the actual model and the rough is, is perfect. It's, it's actually flawless. Uh, so I think that's really, really good. There's a feature here where you can just calculate your price and everything like that if you want to have um, uh, e easier uh, customer uh, costs calculations and stuff like that. But you, if you want to see your uh, code and how the model looks inside, you can click here on the, on the pause feature, which actually allows you to pause and, for example, if you want to pause and put in some, I don't know, carbon fiber, some nuts, some bolts, whatever you want to do. You can see, go through, just go through the model here and um, check the inside and see how it's slicing. So when you're happy with that, we'll just start the print. <laughs> Okay, so I just want to summarize the, the Surflex machine, and I have to say I really like it. It's um, it's really good. It uh, feels really professional, and um, the prints are really, really good. And it's amazing quality, and I think that at least uh, as the prices are for filament right now, I think that uh, it doesn't really matter. If it's a few percent more expensive. At least in my opinion, um, I think that if you're doing prototypes and you're doing it just like a hobby uh, level or a hobby semi-professional level where you actually deliver prints like via 3D hubs and you get money for it, I think this is um, a really good machine for that and you actually get some value out of the, the material. So when you have these kind of material, it's easier for you to... Um, uh, to actually get control of everything and let, um, uh, let sorry, let um, sword tracks control the material for you. So I think it's a really good machine. I really like it. I'm looking forward to in a few days when I get the panels here, so I can print ABS even better. But as you can see here, the ABS is still pretty amazing. So if you look at some of the shots here, hopefully uh, you'll you'll see some beauty shots here of the models. I think that you can agree that it's pretty damn impressive, uh, even though it's. Um, it's ABS without like a heated uh, heated chamber or 
or an um, enclosed camber, a chamber is the word I'm looking for. So anyway, I hope you liked uh, this video. Uh, you should probably check out Creative Tools if you're in Scandinavia or Northern Europe and you're interested in this machine. Um, you can check them out in, in two different offices if you want to look at it. Uh, other than that, I recommend you to read up more on Sartrack. Sartrack has really good marketing. They have good um, information vi on videos. Uh, I think there's, they're a pretty impressive company. But um, the Inventure, I think the new next model, I think that we'll probably have to wait a little bit longer until we'll, we'll see that. Um, so I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I think I have some new machines coming up shortly. Uh, I hope so at least. So um, stay tuned, have a good night and uh, see you later. Bye.